Pauline Kathaki on the right on her way to Sierra Leone last month. She knew there was a risk of catching Ebola and took all the precautions necessary. But should there be more rigorous screening of such volunteers when they return? They already face questions about their health when they arrive back in the UK. They're given advice about monitoring their temperature and limiting their contact with others when they get home. Pauline Kafaki had her temperature taken seven times at Heathrow Airport after she felt unwell. Her temperature was normal, and because she had no Ebola symptoms, she was allowed to continue home to Scotland. But a doctor who travelled with her says that's not good enough. It seems bizarre that we have that restriction once we're home, but we were allowed, for example, to get on crowded undergrounds from Heathrow into central London. And, 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 and of course, this, this particular case has shown that advice wanting. In fact, Pauline Kafferke was flown back to London for treatment, having shown symptoms of Ebola just hours after arriving home. Health officials say that shows the system worked, though they are reviewing their procedures. I must emphasise that because of the systems we have in place of screening and information giving on arrival, and then this hotline to phone when the patients have symptoms, that our public have been not put at risk. Pauline Kafferke is now being treated in a specialist isolation unit, while the debate continues about whether the current screening process is the best way to protect Britain from Ebola. Richard Lister, BBC News.